This is part two in the Newman projection mini-series. Understanding how a Newman projection works is the first part, but you also have to know how to convert from a sawhorse projection or your standard line structure of a molecule into a Newman projection. Let's start with something simple, like the molecule butane. In line structure, you typically do not show your hydrogens, but I will add them in here to help you see how I go from this structure to the Newman projection. And I'm writing the hydrogens on the right in green and the hydrogens on the left in blue. When you look at this structure, we'll assume that the green hydrogens is the forward carbon and the blue hydrogens are on the rear carbon. Looking at this structure, I will imagine that the green carbon is coming forward, so I draw a bold wedge, putting that in the front. Now imagine you take your hand and wrap it around the center, and that will be the circle for your Newman projection. So I will start with the circle. For the forward carbon, I have two green hydrogens going down, so I draw one to the left and one to the right downward, and I have a CH3 group, which is this carbon right here in the up position. The rear carbon isn't shown, but I do see two blue hydrogens in the up position, so I draw them up left and up right, and I have a methyl or CH3 group downward, so I draw that here. And this is the standard Newman projection for the butane molecule. If I want to look at the conformer, or the conformational isomer of this molecule, I can draw it both in the sawhorse and in the Newman projection. The sawhorse is your standard line structure, and here I will show the eclipse version, and draw my two green hydrogens up, and here my two blue hydrogens up. Once again, imagine taking your hand, putting it in the center, over the carbon to carbon bond, and then draw the circle to represent the Newman structure. In the front, I have two green hydrogens in the up position and a methyl group in the down position. In the rear, I also have two hydrogens in the up position and a methyl in the down position. This is the eclipse version of butane from the sawhorse to the Newman projection. Unlike ethane, which has just hydrogens as substituents and yields two conformers, staggered and eclipsed, the butane molecule, given the two methyl groups, will have different energy levels of the conformational isomers. Let's take a look. We'll start with the staggered anti-conformation for butane. When the conformation is in the anti-position, you have your two largest groups as far away from each other as possible making it the most stable conformation. For rotation of this molecule, I will keep the forward carbon steady and rotate the rear carbon 60 degrees at a time. A 60 degree rotation gives me the methyl directly eclipsing a hydrogen on the right, the forward methyl eclipsing a hydrogen in the rear, and then two hydrogens eclipsing each other. This is not a stable conformation, but it's not the worst that you can have. If I rotate this another 60 degrees, I will have my methyl group down to the right, a hydrogen down left and a hydrogen up. Once again, I'm in the staggered conformation, which is stable. However, the two methyl groups are very close to each other, and this gives me a gauche interaction. Gauche meaning they're very close to each other, making it slightly unfavorable. And this makes the gauche staggered form less stable or slightly higher in energy than the anti-staggered form. Another 60 degree rotation puts a methyl group right behind the methyl group and a hydrogen behind each hydrogen. This gives me an eclipse conformation, but because the two largest groups are directly behind each other, this will be the most unstable and the highest energy conformer of butane. Another 60 degree rotation puts my methyl group down to the left, a hydrogen down right, and in the up position. Once again, I have a staggered conformation. Once again, I have a gauche interaction. This is the same energy as the gauche interaction on the right. It just happens to take place on the left. 
These two conformers or conformational isomers with Gauche interactions have the same energy. Once again, I have an eclipse conformation, and this is the same energy as the first eclipse we saw, where each methyl is eclipsed or eclipses a hydrogen. If I do one final 60 degree rotation, I wind up right back to where I started with the staggered anti conformation. It is important that you understand how to rotate the Newman projection from one conformer to the next and to understand where the energy comes from in terms of the interactions of substituents. Now let's see these conformations on an energy diagram. For the purpose of the diagram, I will represent the Newman projection of butane by simply drawing a little circle where the methyl group is and lines for the hydrogens to keep it simple. Starting at zero degrees in the anti-conformation, I have my largest groups opposite each other. This is the most stable and therefore the lowest energy. A 60 degree rotation of the rare carbon will give me an eclipse of a methyl to a hydrogen, putting this molecule at high energy but not the worst energy that I can have. Another 60 degree rotation gives me a staggered conformation but with a Gauche interaction, so I place this slightly higher on the graph than the anti-conformation. A 60 degree rotation to 180 will give me a total eclipse where the two large groups completely eclipse each other and is therefore the highest energy and most unstable conformation of butane. Another 60 degree rotation gives me a staggered conformation, this time with the methyl group gauche on the right to the other methyl group. Another 60 degree rotation gives me another eclipse, this time where a methyl eclipses a hydrogen and hydrogen eclipses methyl. And finally, another 60 degrees takes me right back to my initial conformation where I have the staggered anti-position and therefore the lowest energy. If I want to show just the energy on the diagram without the structures, I put my anti at the lowest position and full eclipse at the higher. I put staggered gauche slightly higher than where I have my anti position and methyl to hydrogen eclipse slightly lower than my total eclipse. And then I connect this with a quick graph. And here you have the energy diagram for butane. Be sure to join me in the next video where we look at a substituted propane and additional Newman projection examples. Do you have any additional organic chemistry questions? Then how about joining my weekly organic chemistry review sessions live, online, and from the comfort of your home. For more information, visit leahfirstside.com forward slash organic chemistry.